A local organization is working to support families. Complete the Puzzle is an autism resource here in Portsmouth. I had the pleasure of being there when several kiddos joined the soccer camp yesterday. Take a look. A muddy soccer field stands no match up against a fun soccer camp. Jeremiah is cheering on his little brother Joshua, who's ready to show off his new skills. Show me some of your moves. What are you going to do? Oh, wow. Wow. The two brothers are two years apart, but are always celebrating each other's wins. He's getting better at talking now because he, uh, yes. at first he was like really like bad at it, but now he's getting better at it. And you know, he's really Later. glad to be here. I'm really glad he's here too. The camp of 20 is led by volunteers at the Golden Ball Soccer Academy. You know what, it's the best experience ever. Tamiko Wynn created this organization to connect parents of kids with autism to local resources. So I had to take it upon myself to educate and advocate. Um, I found out that my son Cameron, who's 12 years old, he was diagnosed when he was three years old. Um, it was a difficult journey. Um, I didn't know which direction to go. I wasn't getting a lot of help. Now after six years, the group has grown from 50 to 300 participants. Uh, they just want to be just like anyone else. Um, you'd be surprised of the joy, the excitement, them getting acclimated and coming out of their shell. They really grow. The parents are very, very appreciative. We do get a lot of people, a lot of parents that travel from Williamsburg, North Carolina, Virginia Beach. So as you can see, we started out small, but now we're truly growing. And next Sunday, complete the puzzle. We'll give away nearly 400 backpacks with a sensory friendly hour starting at 11 o'clock. Learn more over on wavy.com. And a special good morning to Miss Tamiko and the Falk brothers. They all watch Wavy, so I'm glad that they support us, but I support them. I love that they're creating a resource here, especially in Portsmouth. Yeah, a lot of little kids there I saw running yes. around too, and lots of, uh, it seems like a pretty good turnout for an oh, event yeah. on a, a about Saturday. 20, about 20 kids are yeah. part of the camp. Yep. Uh, you told me they had to move it inside because mm -hmm. the grass was just so muddy and the soccer fields was so muddy, but at least they still had a chance to have a little bit of fun inside. Did you oh, shoot, yeah. shoot any uh, goals? You know I did not, Ricky. Why do you always do this to me. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, that's what people want to see. We want to see you give see. it a shot. Okay, next time I got you, okay? okay. okay. Kiana's thrown out of baseball here in like I a month am, or so, so. I am on September 6th, I think. Friday, I'm going to be yeah. at the Tides, guys. So yeah. you'll see me in action then. Yeah. How about that, Ricky? So we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm sure we'll, if you can't make it, we'll shoot some video and post it on social media. I said so. I may do like Simone Biles and just do a flip and then throw it because oh, people will just pay attention to the time. flip. But I have to uh, practice. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. All right, uh, let's see how the weather's going to go today. Let's take a look at what's going on this morning at the Avon Pier. This